12 hour shift from midnight to noon. Check out the view from inside a city of Tulsa snowplow. It's definitely not as simple as put the blade down and cleaning it up. Yeah, no, <laughs> not at all. Eric Ekstrand has driven this truck through five winters. And it just keeps bouncing and bouncing. It gets pretty annoying sometimes too. But he's never driven it through neighborhood streets until Tuesday. Our department is too small to handle stuff like this. And the fact that they hired contractors I think is a good thing. The city has hired eight contractors to help, adding 68 pieces of equipment to work on city streets. I have cleats on my shoes, and so I've been able to walk. It's the only way Pat Farrell's been able to get around since last Tuesday. Her neighborhood near 85th and Yale sits on a hill. And it's very treacherous, too. Some vehicles can make it. Others think they can. This driver got stuck not once, but twice. Thankfully, some real help arrived just in time. One of the city's contract crews made it into the neighborhood. I think it's wonderful. Federal money will help the city pay for these extra workers at a cost of $2 million. It's a price residents like Donna Dowdy say is well worth every penny. I'm going to think I can go shopping. <laughs> I can go to the mall finally.